Ben Dillon, I'm general manager of Tribine Industries. If you look at the wonderful antiques that we have here at the show and look at the conventional combines that are available for sale, the basic architecture is the same. Large front axle, small rear axle, grain tank on top. Uh, what we have in the tribine is a symmetrical vehicle. Uh, the grain is on the ground behind the harvesting section. It's full-time four-wheel drive. Uh, it holds a thousand bushel, a semi-load. Uh, so with a 12-row corn head, you can go 1.4 miles between dumps uh, or several acres of soybeans and, and, and wheat. Uh, so the idea is you can always dump at the end of the field and you don't need a grain cart and many operations chasing the combine around. So we're in the grain handling business. Ag Connect Expo has turned out very quickly to be the ideal place for us to unveil or introduce the tribine. We have input from custom cutters, very good. We have input from farmers, uh, and we've also gotten some kidding and input from uh, the industry, other people who make combines. So it's been uh, an excellent, excellent platform to introduce the tribe. When they first walk up, how many bushels does it hold? <laughs> how fast does it unload? What's the horsepower? Is it four-wheel drive? Those, those kinds of questions. Uh, and how long is it? And it turns out it's shorter than uh, uh, a Class 8 conventional combine with its auger sticking out. Uh, we're 35 feet. Uh, most combines are 38, 39 feet. It has measurable return on investment, not frills. It saves capital cost, it saves labor cost, saves diesel fuel costs, and it reduces compaction. That's really the return on investment.